Now that everything is in place, I can bleed the brake system. It's not a difficult process, but if it's not done properly, it can take all day and it can compromise the quality of the braking. First of all, I need to loosen the purging fitting on the brake caliper and connect it to a length of clean plastic hose. The hose needs to be routed upward and then looped around a couple of times so that the oil that will come out of the caliper will form a sort of a one-way valve that won't allow the air to flow back into the system. Then everything is secure with a zip tie. Now I can open the reservoir tank and fill it up with DOT5 brake oil, trying not to make a mess like I'm doing right now. To bleed the system and flush out all the air, I start pumping the lever. And when the system is full, oil starts pouring out of the bleeding valve at the caliper. As you can see, a mixture of oil and air bubble are coming out of the valve. Those air bubbles have to go, because being air a compressible gas, it would compromise the quality of the braking. After quite a lot of pumping and a few oil refills, we can see that the air bubbles are diminishing until they disappear. At this point, I can tighten the bleeding valve and then remove the plastic hose. The reservoir can also be closed at this time and the braking system is ready to go. Well, actually, is ready to stop.